Hello and welcome. In this video, we are simplifying this expression and we want to write our answer as a complex number. And that just means that our answer is going to have two parts, a real part and an imaginary part. So for example, um, let's say that we have a plus bi. This is what a complex number can typically be represented as, where a is the real part and bi is the imaginary part right here. And a and b are real numbers, but i is imaginary. So we have these two components to make a complex number. So we're trying to get an answer that looks like this. And in this problem right here, I see the 4 minus 3i in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply by the conjugate, which is the same complex number, except the sign on the imaginary part is flipped. So instead of a minus 3i, it's a plus 3i. And if I do this, if I multiply both numerator and denominator, by the conjugate, I'm not really changing the value of it because I'm multiplying by one. And also I will eliminate the i term in the denominator. So and that's typically what we're gonna go for here is to eliminate that i term in the denominator. So let's look about how that works. So in the numerator, we'll have two times four, we're gonna distribute, that's eight. And then two times three i, which is six i. i times four, which is four i. Put those together, we get 10 i. And then i times 3i is positive 3i squared. Then in the denominator, we have 4 minus 3i times 4 plus 3i. And, and just to kind of make this a little bit more straightforward, I'm going to close these in parentheses. I should do that in both cases. I should also have drawn these multiplications there. So we have 4 times 4, which is 16. 4 times 3i, which is positive 12i. And then we have negative, don't forget that negative sign there, negative 3i times 4, which is negative 12i. And then negative 3i times positive 3i is a negative 9i squared. So here, what do we notice? We notice that our i terms right here are going to cancel out. We have a plus 12i and a minus 12i. And that was our goal, to cancel out the i terms in the denominator. Over here with the 9i squared, well, if we think about that for a second, i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So therefore, i squared equals uh, the square root of negative 1 squared, right? Which is the square root of negative 1 squared. And if you square a square root, that equals positive, uh, excuse me, that equals negative 1. So the square root squared, and another way to think about that is that the square root is the half power. So it's negative 1 to the half power. That looks terrible when I fix that. So you have negative 1 to the 1 half power, and that is being squared. So and from this perspective, we can multiply the 1 half and the 2, and those cancel out to 1. So you have negative 1 to the 1 power, which is negative 1. Now what, what that shows is that i squared is negative 1. So if we see an i squared, it's a negative 1. So if I rewrite my denominator, I have 16 minus 9 times negative 1. In the numerator, I have 8 plus 10i, and then plus 3 times negative 1, for the same reason that i squared right here is negative 1. Now I just simplify. We have 16 minus 9 times negative 1 is really six time, 16 plus 9, we have 25. In the numerator, we have 8 minus 3, because 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, which is 5 plus 10i. Now here, we can go a little bit further. Uh, we can divide both 5 and 10i by 25. Now 5 over 25 is 1 fifth, and 10 over 25 is 2 fifths. We're adding them, it's, there's a plus sign here, and that's, this term is in terms of i. And we've got our answer, the complex number. All right, hope this helped.